good youtube it's your girl lanesa thank you so much for tuning into my channel again if you're new here welcome if you're returning welcome big stink all right so let's just go ahead and get into the video so y'all it's obviously been a minute i'm about to stop giving y'all excuses but it's been a little minute but we back and we ready right so i'm super excited about today me and my friends we just just dropped our first episode of season two of our podcast I'm going to make sure to link that below. The name of our podcast is Chuck the Deuce Up, and it's two of my close friends from undergrad. So make sure y'all go and check us out. Leave suggestions of things that you want us to discuss, talk about. You can also follow us on all social media platforms at CDDU Podcast. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the other day I went, went ahead and went to the library um yeah i told y'all i moved so i went to go get like a library card and just to check out to see what they had um i really only went there to get one item i went there to get well, one book i went there to get um the sequel to sugar by um bernice mcfadden um couldn't find it so i tried to put it on hold so hopefully i'll get it soon but um y'all i picked up like 11 books that wasn't the book that i went there to get so i felt like it was a target run you know you go to target to get one thing and you come out with like 20 yeah that's how i felt and then i felt even worse because like i had to truck all that stuff home like it lived, it's so close to my house so i walked but i had to truck all that stuff home so if i look a little swole it's because i've been lifting books all right but i just want to get do a little library haul just to show y'all what i caught from the library um i like getting books from the library because i spend so much money on books um and a lot of the times like like my to be read list is so it's so long so i just need to stop buying books until i read every single book that i have which is like i have like 20 books on my 20 or 25 books on my to be read um but yeah so we're not buying no more books um we only get from the library i'm i'm ugh. so i'm not going i plan on i'm not i don't plan on buying any books at least until january um so in the meantime i'm gonna be reading books that i already have and i'll also be reading stuff that i got from the library i enjoy getting stuff from the library because i can get to test out books before i have to purchase them because i really hate buying books and end up not liking them um and that's become like a trend because i listen to a lot of like the feedback that book instagram gives me um about like what they're reading so i've been trying to read too and all of it's not great so yeah um but yeah let's get into the video cool cool oh wait before we do that go ahead and subscribe thanks so the first book that i got is conversations in black on power politics and leadership super cute this is by ed gordon i'm not going to read the whole entire flap but basically he's just bringing together um just a lot of prominent voices in the black community so for example stacy abrams um elisa garza jamil hill mm, not a fan um angela rye al sharpton ti mm, not a fan maxine walters um it's some other names up here but like charlamagne like yes yes but no like no like it's a lot of stuff that charlamagne says or has to say that i really don't care to hear about it so i'm interested because all right so they're asking i mean they're discussing vital topics like will the black vote control the 2020 election do black lives really matter after obama president presidency are black people better off are stereotypical images of people in color changing in hollywood how is black girl magic changing the face of america so I actually am very interested in seeing exactly um, what I'm going to learn or what I'm going to read um, in this book. So Ed Gordon is a journalist. So a lot of th this book is basically just co a conversation based book. So he's interviewing um, a lot of people that I mentioned earlier. So that's Conversations in Black. I'm excited about this. I saw it a lot on book Instagram. So I don't really know what to expect. I can't remember the reviews or the reactions to it, um, but I actually am really excited about this. And I was happy to know that this is a new book at my library. So it, it, it's kind of lit that they get in like new books that, you know, I actually were, you know, I'm actually interested in buying or interested in reading. 
So that's good because a lot of selections, like library selections aren't great, but I do like the inter database, you know, transfers that they can do. Um, but knowing that my home library has, you know, really good books, that's a good thing. Okay, so I also got A Good Cry by Nikki Giovanni. Okay, and um, this is the cover. And this book is pretty new too. Like it, it's in like tip top condition. So maybe it's not new, new, but maybe nobody reading my sis Nikki. And if y'all not, what you doing? Um, so yeah, it's basically a, bo a book of poems. Super excited to get into this. Um, I've been, I guess, branching out as far as like what I've been reading. So I have been reading um, more like poetry. Like I've been reading more poetry. Um, I've tried to just, just ex you know, broaden my horizons. Um, I guess if I find a like, good romance book that I'm into, I might get into that. Maybe a good thriller. Um, I think what I probably will say my favorite as of now are probably memoirs. Um, I didn't like them in the past. Or maybe I didn't even dislike them. I just really never gave them a chance. So excited about this book with Nikki. Okay. So the next book is Relationship Goals by Michael Todd. Um, I've heard so many things about this book, but I personally couldn't make sense of spending my money to buy the book um because i'm just like a book about relationships i'll read it but i probably don't want to buy it um but i've heard great things from everyone i'm very late to the game of reading this as soon as it dropped like people were pre-ordering it and everything um and i did see a lot of like great conversations surrounding the book um i think what i am um i'm just i'm just interested in seeing what he has to say um i'm i like i'm not someone who like li has listened to his sermons in the past i did see like a brief snippet like on twitter once and you know you gotta watch the whole sermon because the part that i saw was like what you talking about <laughs> it's like but yeah so um i'm interested in this i had a conversation with um my line sister about it and they love him so i'm just like well let me see what let me see what the man about let me see let me let me get a peek oops okay so i got waiting to exhale by terry mcmillan i have never read anything about her shameless to say um but the girl the girl is lover right and i love um waiting to exhale the movie i've seen it so many times with my sister and my grandmother um so i am um excited about you know Cause I know this is gonna be juicy. Like the movie was juicy. I know this is gonna be juicy. So um, I'm excited about, I guess, branching out as far as like what I've been reading consistently. So a lot of the stuff I have been reading has been kind of heavy. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited to you know switch it up. Um, so I also got What Truth Sounds Like by Michael Eric Dyson. Um. And the last person didn't even get it past page 12. So I'm interested to see, um, is this something I'm gonna like? Um, is it gonna work out for me? Maybe not. Um, but I, I have another book by him and it is Tears Won't Stop or Tears Don't Stop. Oh, Tears We Cannot Stop. So I have that book, I haven't read it yet. Um, but I'm looking forward to, to, to reading this and I plan on doing a reaction or a review of this book, hopefully if I finish. Um, white Negroes, when quarrels were in vogue and other thoughts on cultural appropriation. And this is by Lauren Michelle Jackson. Um, so I also have seen this book a lot on book Instagram. And I keep saying that and I'm like, sorry, because I actually know that some of y'all aren't familiar with, there's a whole different side of Instagram for people who just read books. I'm sure there's different, you know, subsets and communities in instagram but yeah there's a huge like a huge 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 um group of people who just enjoy reading um and share like what they their passion for reading so i have seen this a lot i'm very excited to get into the cover is beautiful like i i love i love it um but yeah this is white meat girls all right so the next book i copped is the breakbeat poets new american poetry in the age of hip-hop and this is what the cover looks like and it's a pretty thick book of poetry i'm really excited about this because um what someone i went to undergrad with said this is a really good book and i i, I definitely trust her um with anything hip-hop so i'm super super excited to get into this one um i already started reading i mentioned i already started reading um relationship goals but this is probably a close second i'll probably read this next 
um i got jimmy's blues and other poems by james baldwin because james baldwin yeah I, I love him so much so um i'm really excited about this it's very it's very short obviously another book of poetry um super excited about that The Warmth of Other Sons, The Epic Story of America's Great Migration. It's definitely, it's not a new book. It's um, some obvious wear and tear. Um, but I'm super excited that my library had this book. I've seen them, this on book Instagram very recently. Um, but yeah, so this is a book that I copped. And I'm just looking at the back and Toni Morrison read it. And she said it's profound, necessary, and an absolute delight to read. So if Toni, if Toni said that you 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 gotta get the book like you gotta read it i mean this is a thick one let's see how many pages because i didn't finish that from the beginning like that that book is thick that book is real thick all right so i'm going through the index thick index okay sis was doing her research all right, all right. notes a lot of notes too um okay acknowledgements let's skip through there so it's about um 550 pages roughly i couldn't i just got tired of flipping so it's about 550 pages um black author isabel wickerson um tony morrison said it's a delight to read so get that all right so the nerd in me copped this book um henry lou oh sorry henry lewis gates jr wrote um 100 amazing facts about the negro this is it and I love the way it's set up so I've been reading just like maybe one a day or something like that um so I love how it's set up there's an index in the like front that so I love how it's set up there's an index in the very beginning and the index has every single question that's answered in this book or every single question that's posed in this book and it tells you what page it's it's on um so all these questions 100 questions um and each chapter or each page or new article or section or whatever starts off with a question and then it answers the question in a couple of pages so that's it took like three pages for them to answer that question so this book is really lit um i plan on doing something really cool for youtube um this february so i'm doing research period um okay and last but not least, I got Purple Hibiscus by, I'm going to have to figure out who says this. How you pronounce her name? Give me a second. Three hours later. I tried and tried to pronounce the author's name, um, and I'm, I'm not going to disrespect her or embarrass myself, um, but she is the author of Americana. Um, but yes, so those are the books that I got from the library um make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video look forward to coming at you all with some more heat so be on the lookout okay um make sure y'all check out the podcast i'll be linking in the description box and i think that's it so make sure you share this video with your friends family make sure you like and subscribe deuce